I've been asked how the WIA playoffs for football work um, and how the Blackhawks can find themselves making the playoffs. Um, so I'll start here. This is with sports. What Travis Wilson does um, each week is he projects the, the playoff field. So he actually projects the, the upcoming games and how that's going to impact the playoff field by wins and losses of, of certain teams. So he has us currently projected to beat Amory. What that does is it puts us at three and four in our conference. Now that's not good enough to automatically qualify for the playoffs. If you look at the uh, qualifying procedures in the WIA, they have to fill a field of 224 teams. Um, and they do that by automatically qualifying anybody that is above 500 in conference play. Um, what he says here later on is that right now he projects 190 teams to finish with a conference record of 500 or better, um, which leaves 34 spots for 46 teams. Um, if you go back here, one, there are some, some tiebreakers then, and we qualify on the win-loss percentage of conference opponents that we've defeated. So that puts us in the field. Now, unlike other sports that have uh, regions and divisions predetermined, football doesn't do that. They have to determine the field first, and then from there, they cut them into 32 team groups. Um, seven of them for each of the divisions. So if you look through here and you scroll down, obviously we're going to be kind of in the middle of D4. Now this cut line will change based on results of this game. So um, results of games this week. Before week nine projection, Jefferson, Martin Luther, Wapaka were all projected to be D4. The cut line was going to be around 600. Uh, now the cut line's moved down. So the three biggest teams in D5 Prescott, Lakeside, Lutheran, and Northwestern are all the three smallest teams in D4. So this could change um, depending on the, the results of, of Friday night's games. The cut line being where it is for, for D4 to D5 and the inclusion of Prescott and Northwestern impacts us in that those are two teams that are most certainly going to end up in the same region. If you look at how the WI has cut things before, this is their the 2018 um, cut lines. Uh, we included a lot of the teams from the South. So Adams Friendship, GET, West Salem um, were pulled north. And a lot of the teams from out east, Little Shoot, Wrightstown, and uh, this region were pushed to the east. Now in 2019, it was a little bit different. We got the teams from the north. We didn't pull from the south um, besides Black River Falls. But we had Wrightstown and Freedom who were far east in our region. We don't know how the WI will, will do things this year, but here's a couple examples. Um, if we have the north, northernmost teams in our region, um, Northwestern, obviously Osceola, Prescott, um, Ellsworth, us, Altoona, this one includes West Salem and Oconto Falls. Whereas this example over here on the right, pulling east, um, you get Adam's friendship in here and, and and not the team further east. Now, if Prescott and Northwestern were to go south, now we're pulling teams from either further east or further south to join our region of eight. Now, how does that impact us or what does that project us for um, into the playoffs? Now, computer seeding is going to take place, and the likelihood is that the teams that make it at three and four are going to be seven and eight seeds. Um, in, in this example, we would be the only three and four team making, making the playoffs, likely the eighth seed um, between Northwestern and Ellsworth, who are both undefeated at this point. Uh, either of those teams could, could be the one seed. That would mean we would travel either to Ellsworth or we would travel to Northwestern. Um, in this example, Adam's friendship would also be a three and four team. Um, one of us would likely travel to Ellsworth. One of us would likely travel to Northwestern. Now, in the event that Northwestern goes down or Prescott goes down, that opens things up for other teams um, like Mauston. Maybe Oconto Falls comes comes west, um, and we could see ourselves traveling then to a, a completely different team. So, um, obviously, the first thing order of business is to take care of the or the excuse me the Somerset Spartans on Friday um, and put ourselves in a position to make the playoffs. And then when the field is announced we'll have a, a better idea of who our opponent will be. Uh, but at this point, uh, 
unless you're one of those right in the middle, it, it you don't know where you're going to go. Um, and having teams that are on the cut lines, Northwestern and Prescott between D5 and D4 is really going to impact the, the group of eight. Um, these are just two examples of how the WIA could cut things up. Um, but really it's, it's got, it all depends on where these 32 uh, markers are at the end of the night. So stay tuned. Um, we'll have more information for you Friday after the game. Um, when, you know, if we win, we should be in. If we lose, we'll definitely not be in. So uh, stay tuned and we'll have more information for you post game Friday.